G'day fellas and welcome to a video I have been wanting to make for so damn long. It is finally happening. Civilizations that we've been asking for for years are getting added to Age of Empires 4. At least we think so. There has been a brand new expansion announced today, just only minutes ago for Age of Empires 4 and it's called The Sultan's Ascend. It's available on Steam right now for you to wishlist. It's marked as DLC, but I want to stress that this is an expansion and it's not DLC, and that's really important. There's a couple of screenshots. We're going to go through them, but first we're going to take a look at what we know so far. Coming soon, the Sultans Ascend, the biggest expansion for Age of Empires 4 yet. Explore new territories, lead armies, and immerse in the rich history of the Middle East. Add the Sultans Ascend to your wishlist now and get ready to redefine your Age of Empires for adventure. So, what do we know? Well, let's first and foremost talk about the cover art. As you can see here, we have got a Crusade-themed cover art. So, naturally, that's going to mean that we're looking at a potential Byzantine civilization being added. But obviously, it just means that there's... Well, there's a lot of story, a lot of depth that they're going to be able to tell with the campaigns. I'm looking forward to. Now, let's take a look at some of the screenshots that we're going to be getting to witness over on that page. I'm going to start you off with the my favorite one so far. I think it's this one. I'm not 100% sure. It is this one. I got it right. Take a look at that one. And I want to point something out to you. These guys, they're farming rice. There's only one civilization in the game that farms rice. And that is the Chinese, which leads me to believe this is going to be an Eastern civilization, a Japanese civilization, potentially a Korean civilization. It could be on the cards, but look, we, we can, we're going to go in real in depth in this video. We're going to try and dissect everything, but I want to take you through each of the individual pictures first, just so that we get a pretty good understanding of what's going on around here. You're going to recognize some new things. You're going to see some old things that have been livened up a little bit. Of course, we've got here something that you'll recognize if that is the uh, the French wonder right there. Uh, and uh, at least if I... I think it is. Uh, they look like French men at arms, so I'm going to assume it's a French... The, that's a French wonder, and uh, it could be the English one. But you, you guys know, English, French, it's the same thing. Nothing too new in this, at least not that I can see yet, but I haven't looked too hard. That's one thing to note. Next screenshot. It's the Holy Roman Empire, but take a look at this. We have got some reskins happening, and... I don't know about you guys, but is the scale a little bit different? Do these lands connect there look a little bit bigger than normal? I don't know. Maybe it, it just seems like they're pretty big. So who knows? Anyway, we've also got these guys at the front. They kind of look a little bit like the Black Riders from Age of Empires 3. Uh, but uh, I suspect these guys don't have the same pistols that they do. But So that's the Holy Roman Empire there. Nothing too new other than that little reskin that we've got. Uh, that's We've got the cover art. We've got back to the... Uh, back to our, uh, our wish list, and then we'll take a look in depth at this one. So, a couple different theories about this one. People thinking could be Mamelukes that are here. Some people saying could be cataphracts. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What civilizations are we going to be getting? My, my, at the moment, I'm thinking it's got to be Byzantines. It's got to be, uh, the Japanese, I'm thinking, but we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. And then we've got this interesting picture, which I think has got to be from the story, but this also gives me a little bit of Persian vibes, which, you know, it's kind of crazy, right? Because they talk about Middle East, you know, if, if we think about what they were alluding to in, well, not alluding to, I mean, they, they openly said it as to what's happening in the uh, in the wish list. They, they said very much, we're returning to the Middle East. Now, we've already got three Middle Eastern civilizations. We've got the Delhi Sultanate, we've got the Abbasid Dynasty, and we've got the Ottoman Empire. So there's no shortage of existing civilizations there, but plenty more that you can add and then finally we take a look at this screenshot some interesting things um one of the things to note is this building right here i don't recognize this Th these here are your guard towers right like your normal watch towers that you build the the ones that are illegal to make in tournaments what's that i don't know what that is so maybe that's something unique these look like long bows but you've got something a little bit special down here also in the distance, got some huts, but I got a sneaky suspicion these probably aren't the huts that you see when you're playing the Malians. So could we have an Egyptian civilization coming in? I wouldn't be, you know, 
I, I want to go back to something, okay? I'm going to turn down the music, and I, I want to just... I just want to take you guys through something. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Uh, I, I can't bring it up, but... Hold on. Control, Shift, T. Here we go, here we go. Okay, this is it. I'm going to show you it. I, I want you to listen to what he says very carefully, okay? It's it's very short, but it's very sweet. Thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled and have <laughs> the privilege of being able to announce to everyone around the world uh -huh. that the biggest expansion released for Age of Empires 4 is coming soon. <gasps> it's called The Sultan's Ascend. The biggest expansion for Age of Empires 4. Now, he didn't say the biggest expansion for Age of Empires. He said for Age of Empires 4. Now, we know in the last DLC there was just two sips. That was it. You didn't have any extra kind of, uh, you know, campaign or anything like that. It was just two sips. So here, I'm assuming that we have got, definitely got campaigns. I would be very surprised if we have anything less than two separate campaigns. Um, and there's a part of me that thinks that we may be getting three civilizations. Because this is an expansion. And th historically, you take a look at Age of Empires, expansions have always been larger. Uh, in the sense that if you, for Age of Empires 3, all three of those expansions, they were all three civilizations. Obviously, more recently, it's a little bit different. But... Let's um let's leave it there for our intro. If you if you're uh, just here for the for the news, there you go. That's pretty much it. Obviously, uh, Age of Empires 4 has also now uh, become available on Xbox. So if you're interested in uh, in checking out Age of Empires 4 on your couch, you can now do that. So that is really exciting uh, with the controls. But let's get into the fun part. This is the nitty gritty, digging it down. Now keep in mind. I'm not the best when it comes to history. And I was talking to one of my friends about this earlier. And I said, look, I, I, I grew up with an Australian education. We learned about the atrocities that were committed in Australia, but we didn't learn much about the atrocities that were committed in Europe. <laughs> uh, and as a result, I really don't know too much about this. I don't know too much about the, the clothes that they're wearing. And, and I, I haven't exposed myself to that much. So I apologize in advance if I'm not really able to fill that in. So, but what I can fill in are discussions about this picture as, as an example. Let's let's get into it. Let's let's take a look. So, objectively, this is a rice paddy that we've got here. We've got some villagers. They appear to be wearing some some uh, some headrests, but at the same time, nothing we can really discern from that. And what appears to be the mill or granary for this civilization, because we've got the farms that are around it. So they've got a a unique mill or granary building. We've got the houses, the villages, and what appear to be some horsemen nearby, some spearmen over towards this right-hand side of the screen. Over the distance, though, we've got a building that looks like it could be a market, I'd say. Uh, and then we've got something a little bit closer here, which is definitely the town center. I'll, de I'll give you that one. And if you're going to look at the, the, the style of the town center, you'd have to say it's, it's got to be you, you know, it's, it's got the, these roofs, right? Like, I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be Japanese. It's got to be Japanese or it's got to be uh, Korean. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an architectural expert, uh, but I, I do recognize this. And this, to me, definitely, it says Eastern. So I am, I'm so hyped because those are my big civilizations. I absolutely love them. In Age of Empires 3, the Japanese, they were a, a, a massive civilization. Uh, in Age of Empires 3, the Chinese in particular, and, and a, another Eastern Civ, love that Civ as well. Uh, we've got the barracks. Uh, that's down here in the back. It looks like this might be the stable uh, over here just because that we've got the cart. But hold on, is is that a house? I think that's a house. So is this the stable right here? So you've got the stable on the barracks next to each other. Let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got the archery range in the back corner with a couple of archers out. So everything really, really basic. And then towards the front down here, it looks like we've got what appear to be some unique units. So we've got spears. We've got archers we've got horsemen hold on let's get that music back on we've got horsemen over there and then we've got these little guys so if you recognize these maybe if you recognize the weapon that they're carrying i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a little bit more of a zoom in there i apologize for the lack of pixels i, I can feel the the inner wide boy in me coming up right now but that to me that's a unique unit that's exciting. That is that is super exciting. So that's that picture broken down. Let's move on to the next one here. We'll see if we can spot anything out. I can see keep. Looks like we've got a house down over here. Just a mill, a couple of farms, some villages. We've got what appears to be a campaign. I, I would say a, a king from a campaign or somebody from the campaign. A couple siege workshops, some more houses and two barracks in the back. And a town center or... Yeah, it's a town center just around it out in the Imperial Age. So nothing too crazy there. Of course, the wonder in the middle as well. But this is definitely French men at arms. I recognize those bad boys anywhere. 
Uh, moving on to the next one. So we've got the Holy Roman Empire picture. Now we've already talked about the reskin for some of their units that's coming through. So we've got what appear to be changes to the men at arms. They're now carrying a black shield. We've got a change to their knights. They're now carrying black shields, black armor, and also to their Lanskanecte. Uh, their spears also uh, have got this change. Now, one of the things to note is that this could be campaign related. That's another thing to point out is that this could be a reskin for the campaign, uh, which could be, um, you know, something that you won't really see when it comes to multiplayer, but realistically not much else going on here. The mine work, the Burgrave, the town center, a keep in the background. We've got a couple of barracks down here, some deer. I don't see anything out of the ordinary other than these few little bit of reskins and the fact that we got villagers on gold despite having all those relics. You guys know what those Holy Roman Empire players are like. Uh, we go back to the Sultan's Ascend here. Uh, I did say, I did read that somebody saw, thought they saw Marine Lord over here on the right side, but I can't see him. Looks a bit more like Mister, I'd have to say. Speaking of which, Mister got married recently. So, Mister, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, mate. Congratulations. Hope you and the wife are doing well. And uh, let's let's go back to these photos now, these pictures. So we've got another one here where we've objectively got something from a campaign that's happening. And why do we know that? We know that because we've got this lovely fella right here who is charging right towards us. Uh, and he is particularly unique. I, I would assume that this is a campaign. Um, unle unless you've just got your, your, your king coming out. I mean, you do have kings. You, you got kings in, in multiplayer. Uh, so there's that. Um, but, uh, Mamelukes could be, cataphracts. Those ones have both been thrown out. I don't know enough about it to even really tell you, uh, which way it's going to be. I, I can just, I, I, I will just say now, the more sieves, the merrier, right? That's going to make me excited. It means more things that we get to, more, more variables on the competitive front. Uh, you know, there's just so much, uh, that, that more civilizations bring in. And then finally, we've got this picture, which is a bit interesting. So I think this is definitely coming from the campaign. Um, I said it looks a little bit Persian, and I, I, I stand by that. I think the uh, if I was going to look at the, the way that the windows are, are presented, this is something that you'd often see in the south of Iran. Um, so this, to me, yeah, this, this is looking... This is exciting. This is an exciting time right now to be an Age of Empires fan. And now, finally, let's get into this last picture. At least I think it's the last picture. Yeah, it's the last picture. So let's start off down the bottom, even though we scroll towards the top and take a look at what we've got down here. So it looks like we've got some knights wearing, well, some slightly different clothes. We've also got some longbows up on top of those walls. We've got a couple of spears down here as well. Looks like just the feudal age spears. No upgrades yet on these guys. No super spiky boy. And we move out a little bit the, in the blue. We've got, some, we've got some trebuchets at the back. Looks like a couple of lances or knights. We've got... What are, are they Donzos? Those are... What are they? Maybe Men at Arms? Are these Abbasid, maybe? Hold on, if, if I'm just looking... Yeah, oh, those are Abbasid. Yeah, these are Abbasid. Okay. So this is an Abbasid civilization. So, so far we've identified... We've got the Abbasid. We've got what appears to be the English, uh, I would suspect, uh, giving a little bit of their religious fervor uh, to the enemy. And then we've got another civilization. Now, one thing to note is that these units are in blue and these units back here are also in blue. However, they share the same architectural style as the Abbasids on some buildings and others completely different. Now, what, what is this in the front? I mean, there's a lot of pixels here. I'll say that much. I can I can count the pixels on the screen. If we zoom out, does it give it a bit more of a, a picture of what it could be? It, it kind of looks like fortifications to me. It looks like they've, they've put down some sort of fortification or barrier. That's what it looks like to me. So is there potential that we even see something like Egypt? They, can we... Well, let's just go back. I just want to go back. Hold on. Give me a second here. The Sultan's Ascent. Which, by the way, it's not, it says coming soon. So we don't have a date. Uh, I, I would suspect two months time. I would suspect October 24th is your date. Uh, normally, it comes out around that time. You want to you want to do it right before Christmas is about to hit. That's, that's normally your best time to go. Um, could even be November. Uh, so it says... 
Uh, the biggest expansion for AoE 4 yet. Explore new territories, lead armies, and immerse in the rich history of the Middle East. Uh, add the Sultan Ascend to your wishlist now and get ready to redefine your Age of Empires 4 adventure. Uh, so, Middle East. Middle East. You, you say Middle East, what do you think? You think of somewhere east of the middle. Uh, that, that's where I'm, I'm normally thinking. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking... Even though Iran is not in the Middle East, uh, a lot of people will just say, like, Iran, Middle East, Persia, that, that sort of thing. Um, it, it's, it's technically in Asia. Uh, but a, a lot of people will just say that anyway. So I reckon you could probably get away with... I mean, to be fair, these guys have been pretty historically accurate for, from the, histori the history that I know. Um, but Egypt, that could be an option for you. I, mean, I would be excited with the Egyptians. Could you imagine Egyptians? Oh, my Lord. Sorry, sorry if it keeps going back like that. And yeah, okay, look, it, it does look like it is fortifications. Now, these could just be fortifications from the campaign. So I'm not going to get too up, up and excited about, you know, how the Egyptian spearmen get a unique ability called entrenchment, where they entrench a whole bunch of spears. However, they also lose the ability to brace against any cavalry uh, while they have their entrenchment ability on cooldown. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I made that up completely, and if, if that is actually in the game, I'm a savant, uh, autistic savant. Uh, but, I mean, realistically, it, th this is this is a new sieve to me. This doesn't look Marlian. Uh, Marlian houses, typically not built like this, definitely weren't huts in the feudal age, I can say that much. They they developed into mud houses. These ones at the back, I mean, these just look like Abbasid Siege Workshops, right? Like, that's an Abbasid Siege Workshop. What is this, though? I think this has just got to be campaign, right? Like, this is just your Abbasid... Did the Abbasid siege... Okay, someone answer me this. Who... The Abbasid sieged the English with who? Was it A, the Egyptians, B, the Byzantines, C, the Japanese, or D, the Australians? I don't know what the answer is. Uh, but if you know the answer, that's the $64,000 question. So hopefully we can uh, get to it. Uh, but we'll leave it there because that's all I've got for you at this point. I don't have any inside information to give you. I've got no idea on the release date. Uh, I will just say that this is ticks two out of my three for the trifecta of desires, not desires, wishes for Age of Empires 3. Number one. Oh, sorry, Age of Empires 3. Number, uh, Age of Empires 4. The, the three for Age of Empires 4. There we go. It's a little bit confusing. Number one, Age of Empires 4 comes to Xbox. That was what I wanted. Number two. Age of Empires 4 has an expansion with a campaign. That's really important. Because a lot of people, even though I don't enjoy it, a lot of people do enjoy it. And that's really what matters. And number three. Age of Empires 4 goes free to play. We've already seen Age of Empires 3 go free to play. They're rotating civilizations each week. You've got access to three new civs every single week. You can jump on, play a single campaign all the way through. If you want to get all the other campaigns, you're going to have to pay for it. If you want to unlock those other civilizations, you'll have to pay for it. Will it happen with Age of Empires 4? I hope so. I really do. We'll have to wait and see, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm incredibly excited to be on this journey with you. The drought is finally over. And boy, oh boy, am I excited.